Hey guys, it's Robbie Anderson with Dollar Moves. I'd like to welcome you to another video. So the video today is one that is done out of necessity for me. Uh, I recently purchased a new phone. I ended up getting a Galaxy S5 and um, by Samsung. And the reason I got it was my Droid Razor Max. Uh, while I loved it to death, it was just getting old and getting slow. So um, bringing up information and stuff on it was just taking a lot of time. So I ended up getting this new phone, and once I got the phone, I, uh, I went home, I was excited, I'm like, okay, cool, now this thing's going to work fast like it should have been doing, and I'll go ahead and take it home and get going on it. Well, I grabbed my trusty ScanFob 2002, the same one that I've had since 2011, and I went to pair it up with my phone, and it wouldn't work. And I was like, what? Like, come on, man, I want to go scouting, I want to use my... Scan fob, I'm all excited, right? Well, I couldn't get it to hook up, and then I tried it on my daughter's um, Sam Samsung Galaxy S4, and couldn't get it to work there either. So I called the folks at Serial I.O., spoke with them, and since it's out of warranty, and, you know, it, it got old. I mean, I've, I've used it since 2011. It's, it's made me a lot of money since then, so I'm really happy with it, but bummed. They basically couldn't figure out any reason... Um, they said maybe an update or whatever made it to where it wouldn't work. So um, basically this will not work with my new phone. So I had to get a new ScanFob. So if you're looking to get a ScanFob, the ScanFob 2002, I would watch out for that unless you have an old phone. But really, might as well get the, the uh, ScanFob 2006. Now, one other thing about that. So this is an unboxing, and I do have my, my ScanFob. My new ScanFob is in this box, and I'll open it up in just a second here. Um, but one of the things I wanted to let you know about that is, uh, well, first off, you can go to dollarmoves.com and click the FBA Tools. And in FBA Tools, you can click... Um, Bluetooth laser scanners, and I'll have all the different laser scanners that I recommend and that I know that work and stuff, including this one, the link to where I purchased this one. Um, one thing, if you're looking to get a laser scanner, do it as quickly as possible. When I first looked at this, um, looked into it, uh, they were on, um, gosh, what was it like? Like basically on hold, you could, you could pre-order or whatever because they were waiting for shipment to come in. And then I looked a few days later and luckily I looked at the right time and um, there were 10 of them on Amazon. So I purchased mine right then. I was like, yes, that's what I want to do. And then they, um, and then I went back a couple of days after that because it only took like two days for it to get here from when I purchased it. And I got mine from Serial IO. Um, but anyway, so they run out quick because a lot of people want them and a lot of people know about them. So I also want to let you know that there is also the Opticon um, 2006, which as far as I can tell, it's the exact same thing. The only difference is, is if you get the, the um, ScanFob 2006, it comes with Serial Magic Gears, which if you are running an Android device, you need Serial Magic Gears to communicate with the Bluetooth to the... Uh, to the phone. If you're running um, iPhone, you don't need to worry about Serial Magic Gears. It just runs as a keyboard or whatever. So um, basically, the ScanFob comes with a license in the actual ScanFob itself and for Serial Magic Gears. And if you buy the Opticon 2006, it does not have the license with it. So you'll have to buy the scanner. Then you'll have to buy a license, which I believe is around $50 to. Um, to get the license for it if you get the Opticon. But I'll have both of those um, scanners up on the website so you can see them. Uh, the one that I got does have a two year warranty through Serial IO, and they're great people. I've worked with them, you know, purchasing my first one, and um, everyone that I've heard of that has talked with them has um, been real happy with it. So, anyway, I will go ahead and open this up. Like I said, I just got it, and we will see here what comes with it. I got mine on Amazon, so that was really cool, and like I said, within a couple of days I had it. So the first thing I got is just my little shipping thing here. Yep, okay, so the shipping stuff, and then this little box right here. These scan fobs are so little, but oh my goodness, they're so good. So I've got my scan fob in the plastic a USB and a little lanyard came with it too that's kinda nice and then the instruction guide so um, I'm going to go ahead and see here 
in this video I want to um, show you how to make the ScanFob um, connect with an Android device. So this is what the ScanFob 2006 looks like. Uh, just a little guy there. I mean, this, this is my other one, and this is it. I've, I've got the silicone case on this, but I'm going to, um, I'm going to be, see, so they're, they're pretty close to the same size, um, but I'm going to be getting rid of this one. So, so when you, uh, when you connect to your phone, you're going to want to push this little button there. That's how, how it lets it know that it's working. Now, I haven't charged it yet. You're supposed to charge it first, but I just want to see if this works. So if you hold that down for about five seconds, it should start. Okay, there we go. So now it is um, available so the phone can actually see it. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and go to a screen share and show you exactly how to hook this up on your phone so that you can get to uh, scan it. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is make my Bluetooth discoverable by holding, or the uh, scan fob by holding down the small button like I showed you. I'm going to go to settings in my phone. The next thing I need to do is go Bluetooth. And now I need to scan for it. See that other scan fob? This one here is the other one that I have. So let's see here. Okay, there it is. So I want to click on that to pair it, and it is already paired. So this is the A58. Okay, so now I want to go back. I'm going to go to Serial Magic Gears, which I've already downloaded on here. And if you don't have that and you have an Android, you're going to want to go and download Serial Magic Gears from the Google Play Store. So I'll click on that, connect. And then it's this one, the A5 scan fob. Now it's connecting. And it failed. Awesome. Let's try it again. All right, one other thing here. Maybe that's the wrong one, actually. Whoops. Oh, it just connected. Okay, I was trying to connect the wrong one. And so that's it. I should be able to scan something here. And it goes right in. So let me try. I'll go ahead and try out a couple of these different things. I've never got to try Scoutify before, so we'll see how that goes. Scan something. Invalid query. Well, maybe I didn't scan something good. Let me try something else in my room here. Okay. All right. So that came up. So I'll try scan power and see here. Is it ready? I think it's got to come up and say actually scan power on it. Okay, so I picked a something here that doesn't have any <laughs> thing in there. Let's try some Goo Gone. No Goo Gone? What is wrong with these people? That thing brought up something in uh Yeah, okay. So, cool. So, I know that it works now. So... We are all good. That's all you got to do. So, uh, again, if you want to purchase yourself a ScanFob, you can go over to and see all the other uh, laser Bluetooth laser scanners. You can go to dollarmoves.com, click on the FBA tools, and then click on the Bluetooth laser scanner, and I will have each of the scanners there with links to where you can purchase them. Um, and if you like what you saw, please go ahead, thumbs up, positive comments below this video, and uh, always appreciate it if you subscribe, if you like what you saw, and I will contact you whenever I come across anything that, or whenever um, I put out a new video, and if you go to dollarmoves.com and sign up for the email newsletter, I will contact you anytime I come up with a new video, or if I come across something that I think can bring you value. All right, you guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Take care.